everyone and welcome to today's video. I'll be going through with you guys some of my palette collection. I've been really into going through my eyeshadow palette collection lately. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me do a look each week with a different palette. And today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite winter slash holiday party palettes. These are palettes that have a color story that fits for winter or holiday party or there's a couple palettes that may not look like winter palettes to begin with but I've been using them to create holiday looks for myself. So let's get into the palettes. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so we can see better. My first palette is from Tarte and uh, this is their uh, Make a Believe in Yourself palette. As you can see, it is very loved. It's quite a dirty, but I've been creating uh, so many holiday looks with this palette. This palette is almost all uh, shimmers. There is a uh, one matte shade uh, that just happens to be a good uh, crease color for me, but otherwise uh, shades are all uh, shimmers. Let me swatch a couple of them for you guys so you can see I love uh, this one especially. It is called Marvel. It is so a pretty and also another one of my favorites is this mystic shade another one of those really pretty shades. Now this was a limited edition palette and I believe sometimes this does pop up on sales somewhere else so if you see it be sure to snatch it. Let me swatch one more at the trance uh, that's another one of my favorites. These are very creamy, very shimmery and just perfect for the holidays. Although I have been creating everyday looks and any kind of season looks with these. But when I think about holiday palettes or holiday season palettes, this is one of the palettes that I think about. The next palette I have for you guys is from Ofra and I'm going to add a little picture on the bottom of me wearing this palette if I've created a look with this palette on Instagram but this one I did feature on my Instagram account and it may look a little bit more like a springy palette but honestly when I think of this I do see spring but I also see holidays and winter especially. I think it's because of these uh, two shades and this one as well and maybe this uh, blue shade as well but all of these shades are so pretty. They're shimmery and they are kind of cooler a toned which makes me think of the holiday season let me swatch a couple of these uh, this white one is so pretty and then there's this kind of platinum one and like I said I really do like this blue as well these are all so pretty and kind of wintry in my opinion so I use this palette throughout the year but I think of it as one of my winter palettes and I don't know if I said that that is the Glitch palette from Ofra. Next palette I have for you guys is from Lorac and this is their Mega Pro 2 palette. Now this is a cool tone palette which makes me think of winter and perhaps holidays too but this I consider more of a winter palette instead of holiday palette. It's kind of on a neutral side which is why it doesn't really pop up to me as a party palette but I've created so many cool tone looks with this that I do consider it a winter palette. This a blue quartz color is so pretty. It is just one of my favorites. Um, it is very bright and very pretty. There are other shades here that I really love. Olivine is one of them too. This is kind of on the powdery side so just tap your brush when you apply it but it is so pretty and there's so many beautiful cool toned shades in this so this is definitely one of my winter palettes. Another winter palette from Lorac is one of their pro palettes. This is the pro palette number two and it is another a cooler toned palette. This is again more of a winter than a holiday palette because of the sort of more neutral shade. So let me swatch silver for you guys which is so beautiful as well. I love that shade and another one of my favorites is chrome. Here we go. Like I said, these are a little bit powdery, but these are so pretty. And then there's a rose, which is a more of a warmer tone, but still this palette all together kind of tells me it's a winter palette. So all in all, excellent quality if you don't mind a little bit of a powdery formula, but I like both of these and they remind me of winter. Another one of those palettes that remind me of both winter and the holiday season is this one from Persona. This is their Identity 2 palette and this one has really pretty jewel tone shades. I think jewel tones in general make me kind of think about Christmas maybe, New Year's and this palette is no exception. These shades are beautiful and so creamy to apply. I think 
I have created really nice kind of Christmas party looks with this one as well as New Year's. Although in general for New Year, I prefer a little bit of more of a silvery look, but this is really beautiful as well. And I think a Persona palettes, both of these, I have Identity 1 and Identity 2, are such a good quality. I highly recommend them. Another palette that has kind of a similar color story but is a lot more affordable is this Wanderlust palette from Profusion. This is only $9 and it is such good quality for those $9. There are your greens and purples that you saw in the Identity too, but there's a lot more in this palette as well. But this is kind of a winter season palette for me too, although it is almost like every season palette, but when I think of winter, I think of this. And I think it's mainly because of the purple, the blue, and perhaps the greens as well. I kind of associate green with Christmas time, and this has really beautiful greens. Um, here is that shade Sirius. It is really sparkly and pretty. Here is Stormy. These are all so pretty, and let's take one of those purple shades. This is Nimbus. Again, a beautiful shade that didn't swatch that well, but it really looks beautiful on the eye. And I, in general, I do really enjoy the Profusion formula. They have really good shades. That one is Majesty. That is a gorgeous shade again. And if you have never tried Profusion palettes, they're totally worth it. I think you can get them at least on Amazon and Profusion website, but I've heard they have them at Walmarts as well. So if you haven't checked these out yet, I highly recommend Wanderlust. It is great quality. Here's another a winter palette from The Balm. This is their foiled again. This is a foil eyeshadow palette. And I'm not sure if this is still available on their website, but if it is, it is totally worth the money. They often have a half off sales. I believe they have one going on like at least twice a year if not even more and this has some beautiful cool tone shades like this a locked up shade is so beautiful it is kind of a lavender a silver a really pretty then there's captured another one that is just simply gorgeous kind of these frosty shades often make me think of winter and then there are a couple of mattes in this as well even though this is a foil eyeshadow palette there are four mattes on the bottom here's one more shimmer that is so beautiful and uh, this is guilty like look at that pigmentation it is simply amazing so highly recommend this palette like i said if it's still available i believe i've seen it so hopefully it is and you can get this if you like these kind of cool tone uh, shimmers that are so beautiful I have several palettes from ColourPop that make me think of winter and holiday season, but I grabbed three of them for you guys today. First one is the Kathleen Lights a collab with the Zodiac. I'm not sure if this is any more available, but if it is, it's got like a color story that has a little bit of everything. But I think it's maybe the packaging that makes me think of winter because it's got all these stars and holiday season. But there are some beautiful shades like this Pisces one. It's just simply amazing. Look at that. It is so sparkly and pretty. And then there are like the Gemini is also another beautiful shade. The quality, color up quality is definitely here. And I think you can create really nice holiday looks with this using kind of these pops of color. Or even if you want to go more neutral, this palette has that option as well. So definitely one of my favorite winter palettes. Another similar kind of party palette from ColourPop is this misunderstood palette. This was part of their Disney collection in this is the Villains palette. And this has so many gorgeous shades. I, I simply just adore these. Uh, like Diablo is got to be one of my favorite ColourPop shades. So pigmented and so pretty. And, and then there's another green shade that is kind of Christmassy to me so that's why I think of this as a holiday palette but also I feel like you could create so many party looks with this mongrels is another one a beautiful shade so you can create a lot of looks with this palette I believe this is still available on their website so definitely recommend this one
I have one more a palette from Colourpop. This one is their Fame palette. I believe this is unfortunately discontinued, but they did uh, come out with two other cool tone palettes that you, I think you can find similar shades in. But I think the mainly the cool tone color story in this makes me think of it as a winter palette, but it does have really beautiful cool tone shades. Um, here are a couple of swatches. I know you can't have this anymore from their website, but if you see this somewhere, I don't know if someone has it and wants to get rid of it. I highly recommend this. These shades are so beautiful. This is more of a neutral palette, but I think you could absolutely create a holiday party look with this if you prefer like cool tone shimmers. These are simply beautiful. I'll have to swatch Posh as well. It is so pretty. That is really a beautiful shade as well. So if you can get your hands on this somewhere, Fame palette is amazing. Next up, I have probably my favorite palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is their Sultry palette. This was part of a holiday collection, I think, two years ago, but it is currently available again as a set. So if you're interested, go check out Ulta or Anastasia's website. I think maybe Sephora has this as well, but this is such a beautiful holiday palette. And that shade Cyborg is one of the reasons why I think about Christmas and holiday parties when I see this, but also you know a winter in general this cyborg shade is just my favorite it is amazing another beautiful shade is cinder that is another beautiful shade these shades are so effortless they're so a shimmery like one of the things that i would suggest if you are going to get this palette is to use an eyeshadow primer with these some of these shades have a little bit of fallout but they are so pigmented so gorgeous and i feel like they're perfect for holiday parties and anytime during the winter really this is definitely a my favorite palette from anastasia beverly hills and when I think of parties, maybe a holiday party or any party, New Year's party, I often think of a Purr and Barbie collab. This is the Endless Possibilities one. And let me open this one for you guys. Actually, I can appreciate the packaging alone. This is one of the most beautiful uh, packaged palettes that I have ever owned. This is simply gorgeous. But when you open it, the colors are so uh, beautiful as well. There are so many shades to choose from, so many party shades. They're pigmented and beautiful. And I think this could be very well a New Year's party palette for me. Like this shade alone here is just simply stunning. Like look at that, a brisk glitter. If you're into that kind of shade, that is amazing. But I also love the other shades. There are so many beautiful shades in here. and. Like I said, this makes me think of a party that I would like to go to. I know during COVID times, partying is a little bit harder, but I mean, you can still do your makeup even if you're not going anywhere. And this is definitely one of my favorite party palettes. It's so perfect for holiday season. I know I've had several discontinued palettes in this. I hope that you can still get some of these if you're interested. I know some of them show up in places like TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack. So you might check there if you're interested in them. Here's another one. This is from Urban Bin Decay and this is their Naked Smoky palette. Now this one, I'm not sure ever got its full attention that it totally deserves. It is a beautiful cool tone palette and let me open it for you guys. I mean, it totally had its moment, but I feel like it could have been in the spotlight a little bit longer. It is a simply a stunning, a cool tone palette. And I've created so many party looks with this one, especially using this shade armor that is simply a stunning. It's a little bit uh, hard to work with. It is a little a bit chunky, but it's just so beautiful. And I feel like for New Year's, I could easily create a look using this armor shade. The high shade is another a beautiful shade shade that this palette has and the mattes are amazing as well i've used this as so many times when i've created a kind of a darker look for the holidays as the name says it is perfect for creating beautiful as smoky eye looks and i wish it was still available i hope they come up with something similar because it truly is an amazing palette 
And the last palettes are a little bit newer to my collection, but they make me think of holidays or winter as well. And this is from Pat McGrath, and it is their Eye Ecstasy Sublime Eyeshadow Palette. And this really does make me think of a, a holiday party or holiday season. It is more of a neutral palette, but there definitely is a little bit of color in it. And I feel like these sh uh, colors are so creamy, and you could easily create like a nice party a look with these. And more of a neutral party look. And I've seen this palette on sale at Sephora at least currently. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out from there. But it is a really a nice palette. This one I think is pretty affordable. I think mainly because the packaging is quite cheap. But the shades are really nice and I feel like they remind me of the holiday season as well. And the last palette I have for you guys is definitely not a holiday party palette, although you could create a party look with this. This is from e.l.f. It is their bite size eyeshadow palettes, and this is in the shade Truffles. This is more of a winter palette to me, and I think it's because this shimmer shade is kind of cool tone, and it does remind me of a winter a look that I usually create during winters. But these shades are really pretty, and I think this palette retails for $3, which is crazy to me because it is such a good quality. Of course, you do have to work a little bit with the matte shadows, but the shimmer is just beautiful and totally worth the $3 on its own. But you can use all of these to create a, a winter a type of look really easily. So it is one of my winter palettes, even though it's newer for me. I keep this on my vanity just for that shade, and then I can use the others to create a full look. But I think these $3 palettes are totally worth it. palettes from my collection that I think of as wintry or holiday holiday party kind of palettes. I hope you found this video interesting and maybe it inspires you to look into your collection and see what kind of palettes you typically gravitate towards during the winter and like during the winter. If there are some palettes that I didn't mention here that, that you think are totally holiday party or winter palettes, let us know in the comment section what you feel like is another a great palette for that season. I would be really interested in hearing your opinions as well. But I hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you subscribe. And if you like these kind of videos and want to see more of your kind, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with another video.